Hello, welcome to our success factors how to series on goal management. In our previous session, we looked at how to create goals using the success factor solution. In today's session, we are going to look at how to edit the goals that you have already created in the system. Now, to do this, the employee simply logs into the success factor solution and navigates to the home drop down menu and then you click on it. Now, once you click on it, you have the display of all the modules and then the apps which have been purchased by your organization. To edit a goal, you simply navigate to goals and then click on the link. Now, this directs you to the page which displays the goal portal for the employee, in this case, Job Hill. Now, you realize that we have just one goal here, increase profitability in the region and the company overall. Now, there are two ways to edit this goal. The first way is to just click on this edit link and then it takes you to the goal and then you're able to edit that goal. Also, you can come to these three vertical dots here, all right, which is the goal actions. When you click on it, it displays different options that you can choose from. The first option is edit goal. We also have view goal details. Now we have our goal to the outlook, you can add it to your outlook, and then you can delete this goal using these options also. So I'm simply going to click on the edit link, and then that will take me to a separate page where I can edit the goal. That's this page, all right? Now, if you have been following our sessions, you realize that in the previous one, I went through all these categories and then I explained what visibility meant, what goal name and all of that metric and all of it, what they meant. And so you might want to visit that video to get updated. Now, today's session is just about editing the goal, so I'm going to focus on that. All right, so in the visibility session, I can make this goal private if I so desire. Now, the goal name, we have increased profitability. Okay, so maybe we can add a measure to it. So maybe by 10%. All right. And then we move on to the metric. With the metric, we have 5% growth. Let's make that one to 10%. And then if you want to change the due date, you can just click on it, on the date and then you get the chance to edit the date as you so desire. Now, the status, if you saw it before I came to this page, was behind. You can change the status to on track, okay? And then once I'm on track, we have percentage complete. I can also increase the percentage complete to probably 50%, all right? So after making all these changes and editing whatever I want to edit, I simply navigate to the Save Changes tab and then I click on it to save my changes, all right? So this is a page where you do all the editing. Once you're done, you just have to click on the Save Changes tab and then you are able to save the changes you have made. All right, so now you can see from the goal portal of Geoff that the 5% has been increased to 10% here. All right, so is the metric 10%. And then if you remember, the status was behind. Now it has been changed to on track. All right, so that'll be all for today. In today's session, we learned how to edit goals. I hope you enjoyed the session. Now, please, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification icon. You can also reach us using the handle Personal Systems Limited on any of the social media available to you. We'll love to hear from you. 
on to our next session. It's bye for now. Thank you.